Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Veronica, aka Glam by Veronica XO. Thank you so much for clicking on my video and welcome to my channel. So on today's video is going to be another collaboration with my dear friend Liz. Liz, thank you so so much for reaching out and wanted to do a collaboration with me. It is a truly honor working with you, girl. Thank you so so much. If you guys don't follow her, I'm gonna put in her link down below or right here on the I, I don't know I always forget I always think it, it's on this side or I don't know but you guys get the idea it's going to be on the eye let's go show her some love and support she does an amazing Halloween transformations she does beauty haul makeup vlogs but mostly she is an amazing loving caring humble person she is like so down to earth if you guys don't follow her please guys you guys won't regret it I'm gonna be putting all of her socials right here for that way you guys can go hit and follow her but yeah, so she decided to do a snowman theme. It could be anything, but it has to be in the snowman category theme. I told her that I was going to do towards the scary side snowman. It's kind of funny when she mentioned this because actually I, I was having more ideas to do like a snowman. But on the scary side, as you guys can tell, I miss Halloween for some reason. I... I still do. I hope you guys love and enjoy this video. But yeah, so let's not further ado. Let's get right into it. So now to conceal our brows, I'm going to be using this clear glue stick. If you have the purple one, that's going to also work as well. But I really do suggest the white one. I'm going to be putting this on my brows. As you guys can see, I'm trying to make sure that the hairs are up. Stick to my skin as much as possible. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my Rimmel London setting powder. And I'm going to set my brows. And you're going to be doing this until you do like three to four layers. Which means that you're gonna be doing glue setting powder glue setting powder glue setting powder and now what you guys are looking at right now I have these two cotton balls depending on how creepy you want your carrot nose to look like so I'm just gonna go with one and right now I am just molding it just a little bit and now I am grabbing my glue clay text and I'm grabbing a little bit of that and putting it on my nose and then I am attaching it this towards my nose and I am blending the cotton ball towards my real nose and making sure that this is nice and blended it does not have to be perfect but you want the carrot nose to be attached as possible to your natural nose but yeah so right now I am just molding it to my personal preference and just playing it around until I am happy with it With one tissue paper, I'm going to go ahead and open this and use only one half of the paper and I'm going to be attaching this to my real nose going towards down of the nose and with the help of the glue latex, I'm going to be molding this all the way around until the tip of the nose. And I decided to change my brush towards my fingers because I found out that this works way better than with the brush. It takes forever. And now with the help of a hair blow dryer, I'm going to be blowing this until it hardens just a bit. So this is how my nose looks like. I can really take myself seriously, guys. And now I'm going to be using this white face paint and I'm going to be applying this all over my face and body. I actually did like three coats, but when you apply this, you have to wait at least like two minutes and then apply another coat. But this does not have to be perfect. Again, you want this to have texture. But yeah, so I basically did like three coats. Now with a small brush, I'm going to be painting this around my nose. This really helps if there's any areas that you left behind. So that's what I'm doing here, only around the nose. Now going in with this LA Girl Translucent Powder and I'm setting this all the way around on my face and also on my body as well. Using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Palette Volume 1 and I'm going in with a very black shade and now what I am going to create 
I am going to do a very mean brow kind of look. With the same shade with the black, I'm going to start creating a line under my eyes all the way around. Now going in with this brown nudie color and I'm going to start creating a line towards my real eye all the way around and then I'm going to go ahead and start shading this part in. So this part is going to be looking more as if it was like a button kind of look. Now I'm going in again with the black shade and I'm just creating a line and I'm doing this all the way around the brown color. With the same shade of black I'm going to start doing another line to give it that more look of a button kind of look all the way around of the eye. Now I'm going to go ahead and start shading this with black. And I went in with my e.l.f. Cosmetics eyeliner and then I'm shading in my brows. As you guys can see, I couldn't do it with my lip cream palette, so that really helped. And with a little bit of that white paint face with a very stiff, flat brush, I'm going to start putting the edges very straight and again, making more wrinkles with the same black shade color. Now I am creating my melted mouth with the same shade of black. I'm doing this only on the mouth part areas. I'm going in with my Rimmel London in the shade black and this is the liquid lipstick and yes guys I love to use liquid lipsticks on my face like if it was a body art but again I love to use anything what I have in hand but anyways I'm gonna be doing this only on the mouth part areas just to give it that illusion that it needs but yeah so as you guys can see it's very pigmented with the liquid lipstick but I'm gonna be doing this all around inside of the mouth now i'm doing more of illusion of a mean look of the brows
so right now I'm giving like a little bit of that skull kind of look just a little tiny bit not too much because I still want this to look very very mean as much as possible but yeah so that's what I'm doing I'm making more lines more illusions more texture to this look using my wet and wild flame on the game i'm gonna be applying this all over my nose and i really do suggest you to guys to do this with the brush because it does get into those heart reaching places but always try to hold your nose because obviously you don't want this to come off doing this all the way around of the carrot and also blending this towards my real nose to give it that realistic illusion that it needs and now with the of cosmetics black eyeliner and i'm just doing the lines of the carrot so this is how my nose looks all completed Going back with the black liquid eyeliner, I'm going to go ahead and create dots. I'm going to be doing this on both eyes. Now going in with my next Cosmetics White Eyeliner and I'm just making like lines to give it that illusion like if you sew this into your eyes basically. And with my color matte black Eyeliner, I'm gonna start putting this on my upper and lower waterline. Now, going back with my brows, I'm giving it more of that arch that it needs. So, basically, I always go back and forth with my creations because I want to see more of the depth that is going to give the look to it. But yeah, so I'm gonna be doing this with both brows. Instead of doing the traditional buttons going down on the chest, I'm going to go ahead and start doing more towards like the skeleton if you want to see it that way. So I'm going to be doing like the bone kind of chest kind of look of this snowman. I'm gonna go ahead and start shading this all the way around and make it look very blendable and nice and neat. Using my LA Girl White Concealer, I'm going to be putting this on the middle of the chest of the bones. Now going back with my brows and with the same black shade, I'm going to go ahead and start shading in around the edges of the black. And what this does, this helps the look be more, more realistic than what it is. But when you start shading in, you want to make sure that everything it is nice and blended. And also on the side as well, only on the edges of the lines. And of course as well I'm shading in under the lines of the wrinkles and I'm gonna be doing this with the same thing on the other eye as you guys can see the difference now when you give it more texture illusion that's what it makes it the mask be more realistic it brings it to life so last but not least, I'm going to be using this dry shampoo by Dove. And I really like to use this if I want to make my hair very, very white, even though it comes off easily. But it smells so delicious. And also it comes off very, very easily when you take a bath. And now I'm going to be wearing this scarf around my neck. And here I have this hat. All of the details and information of this video is going to be down on my description box. So let me know in the comments down below which one you guys like. Option one or if you like option two. So that's 
that is about it. I really had fun creating this look. As you guys can see, this is more like a scary snowman theme look. I still don't know what I'm going to name this, but you guys will see on the title of this video. Please let me know in the comments down below which hat do you guys like it more, which, which is the black one or this one that I have on. I think I like this one. I think with the black one, it gives it more spookiness of the look. But yeah, so let me know in the comments down below which one did you love on this video. And also, please guys, go show some love and support to my friend Liz. It's going to be right here. I don't know. Probably it's on this side. The eye. But yeah, guys, please go click on that and it will take you straight to her channel. And please, guys, go show her some love and support. Again, you guys are not going to regret it. She is an amazing, loving person. And yeah, so again, girl, thank you so much for collaborating with me on this video. I really had fun. Thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart. You guys, enjoy this video of this snowman themed look. And yeah, so please, guys, like, comment, and share. I always love to listen to your guys' comments, your guys' background. You guys always make my day. Every Every single time when you guys leave any comments and also please like comment and share i really do appreciate it please guys keep my name out there and subscribe if you haven't and hit the bell notification that way you guys won't miss any of my new videos i love you guys and i will see you guys on my next one bye guys